Oh, we're live. Hi, everyone. Um, this is Talene and Kamala from Keep Trucking. I'm not gonna lie, this is awkward when you can't see who you're talking to, but welcome to our chat. Um, not sure how many of you know about Keep Trucking, but we're here to just casually tell you a bit more about who we are, what we do, the roles that we have open, and then obviously answer a couple of questions that you may have. Um, so Keep Trucking was founded in 2013. Um, the founders essentially wanted to find a way to use technology to solve a real world problem and have a positive impact on people's lives. So they identified the trucking industry and found how large it was and how vital it is to people's everyday lives. Um, the trucking industry was very outdated in terms of technology, like drivers used to use paper logs. Um, there was no tech used in that industry. Um, and then the founders for Keep Trucking decided to come in and revolutionize the entire industry. Um, so our first product was actually a free mobile app where truckers could e-log um, their hours and where they're headed. Um, that's how we entered the industry. Um, essentially, our purpose is to provide customers with easy to use innovative technology that will enable them to comply with specific federal regulations um, to essentially run their trucking companies. Um, as a company, we've been growing exponentially. Um, so as of December 2017, that's when our business really started booming. We went from going from 1 million um, to over 50 million in ARR in the span of 18 months. Um, and we've grown our team over 300% people wise. And uh, this is Kamala. We are a Series D startup and the last we raised was in 2019. And thus far we have raised more, more than 225 million in funds. Our um, employee strength at this time is about 1500 worldwide and we are valued at around 202 uh, billion US dollars. Uh, more than 50% of American trucking companies use keep tracking products, our vehicle gateways and smart dual dash cams as well. And we are serving over a million drivers and about 65,000 customers at this time. Um, as far as our culture goes, uh, we have a very open, um, transparent culture with a lot of diversity. Uh, we are hiring quite a bit. We have many, many, many roles open in Vancouver and in San Francisco. Uh, multiple roles are for mobile engineers, um, and we also have front-end and back-end engineers, uh, machine learning and platform engineer roles also. Uh, we also have a site reliability engineer role as well. And regarding um, entry-level positions, uh, we are hiring uh, new grads, and we also have a couple of internship spots open in the US, and the duration for that would be January to uh, May 2021. Um, we would like to thank you all for reaching out to us. Many of you have reached out uh, via LinkedIn already. Um, I didn't get a chance today, but I'll definitely reach out back to you, and uh, you'll hear from us soon on your application. Thank you. Yeah, and a bit more about our, our culture. Like we foster a very flexible culture. Um, we're kind of like treat everyone like adults, uh, work as you do. Uh, you get a lot of autonomy um, over your work as well. Um, and anything else we want to add? I mean, you guys feel free to start asking us questions. We have a decent amount of time. Uh, someone did ask if we consider remote um, applicants. Uh, we do, depending on where remotely you're coming from and depending on the hiring manager and roles that's something we're definitely kind of trying to figure out as we move away in a world back to COVID, where COVID didn't exist and I think we are kind of trying to be a remote company but de again depending on the teams and hiring managers yeah how is the hiring procedure for the senior software engineer um, the hiring procedure or the interview process is quite similar across all roles so essentially the first step is a recruiter phone screen depending on who the recruiter is that's a 30 minute get to know you, learn about your skill set, what you're working on, what you're looking for. The next step would be a 45 minute conversation with a hiring manager. Uh, that's again, getting to know you a bit more, digging deeper into your technical skill set. And then it's a technical interview. That's a one hour live coding interview. And then the final step is a four or five hour virtual onsite, which could obviously be broken up into two days. In that onsite, there will be, um, I believe it's three technical rounds and then one top grading interview, which is digging deeper into your um, experience as an individual, who you are, your motivations, and just getting to know you on a personal level. Yep. And someone asked if we um, have any product management roles. I believe we do, uh, but I'm not too sure at this point. But definitely, uh, even if we don't have one open at this time, um, I'm sure something is going to come up in the next few months. So please do send across your uh, profile mm -hmm. and definitely hold on to it if you don't have something immediate. Mm -hmm. 
And then do you have internship and co-op opportunities? I do believe we are opening a couple, yes, um, across Canada and the U.S. Yes. Um, sorry, there's a lot of questions coming in and I'm trying to keep up with them. Um, um, new grads, I think most of the new grad openings um, and or, or at least the internship openings are on the software engineering side as far as we know. But then again, um, something might come up um, later on. But at this point, the uh, opening that we have is more on the software engineering side. Yes. And someone asked if we're only based in SF and Vancouver. No, we actually also have an office in um, Pakistan and India. Um, yeah. San, San Francisco is our headquartered, and I believe the biggest location. And then Vancouver is only around 10 people so far, but we're actively looking for candidates there. Uh, we do offer sponsorship um, yeah, for um, uh, new grads as well as for um, H1B transfer as well. But again, depends on the roles though, but only for certain roles. It says if someone's resume has been rejected at Keep Trucking, will you consider their candidacy? Sorry, I don't know if everyone gets to see the question, so I'm reading them out loud, but <laughs> oh. um, to see the candidacy immediately. Yes, you can apply if you think you're a good fit for another role and you were rejected for one, by all means, go ahead and apply. Um, there's no kind of rule on being allowed to apply again or not. Yeah, and it, if, if it is for the same role, probably it's better to um, keep a, yes. few, yes. a few months before you reapply, but then otherwise it should be okay. Do you provide Canada job sponsorship? Um, it depends. We do for very unique circumstances. Um, Canada is a bit easier to get a sponsorship than the US, uh, but again, it depends on the seniority level, um, the role itself, like how hard it is to fill in Canada. And so a lot of circumstances go into that. It's not a 100% yes, and it's not a 100% no. Do we know Awais, Imran, and Saba Talat? Both Kamala and I started recently, so I can speak for myself. I don't personally know them. I'm not sure if Kamala has met them. No, I have not. Uh, but then uh, if you have friends there, that's awesome. Then yeah. definitely you probably know more about the culture and the company already. <laughs> do you have non-software machine learning or data science roles? I think we do have um, a decent amount of hardware roles as well. Um, we have a ton of roles and they're all on our careers page if you go ahead and take a look there. Yep. And we do have machine learning roles also. Yeah. And then, yes, of course, you can connect with us on LinkedIn. I don't see the questions coming in, though. Well, there's like a questions tab, and then there's a chat tab. So if you click um, on the questions tab. OK. I'm on the live chat. So where can a fresh data science Bootcamp graduate with 16 years of teacher profession fit in at your company? That's a hard question to answer right off the bat, just because obviously we haven't chatted. I haven't seen your resume. I'm not exactly 100% sure what your skill sets are like or what you're looking for. Um, but my my kind of advice to you is to take a look at your at the careers page and maybe see where you could fit within our company and, and apply um, that way. How many years of experience are you looking for, oops, for the software engineer role in San Francisco and any specific skills uh, for our back end or front end for that question? I guess we'll answer both. Um, yeah. We're looking for more senior staff level software engineers, both on the back end and front end. Um, I would say six plus years of experience. Ideally, obviously it's not a hard requirement. We're not gonna reject you if you have five years or four years of experience. Um, on the back end, we're language agnostic in terms of what we look for. Um, we're just looking for smart, talented engineers that can pick up kind of whatever language. But we work with um, Ruby on Rails, um, Python, and Go, I believe. And then on the front end, uh, we work with Angular. But again, we're open to whatever stack or, or framework that you use. Uh, essentially, we're just looking for talented engineers. And someone asked about um, hiring procedure for the senior software engineer machine learning role. Um, pretty much for all our software engineering roles, we have a similar process. There will be two rounds of uh, phone interviews after um, you speak with the recruiter, and then there will be a remote on-site. And during the remote on-site, you will be um, interact. You will have five different sessions during that remote on-site, and uh, there will each there will be two or um, three coding sessions, and the rest would be more on the um, system design and um, the machine learning portion. Mm -hmm. Someone asked if we provide sponsorship to international students. I would say for students, we don't, we probably wouldn't provide sponsorship for that. Again, the only exceptions that we might make are for very senior and very hard to fill roles. 
Um, any software engineer winter internship roles? Again, yes, we are posting our um, internship roles. I believe they might already be posted, but we are looking for interns both in Canada and the US. Any data analyst roles in the next few months? I'm not 100% sure about that, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. that could come up. Um, at this point, I don't I don't know if we have one. I don't believe we have one. But um, like we mentioned earlier, we are hiring so much right yeah. now. And we, we are going to continue in the path for quite some time. So definitely uh, keep us in mind. and um, or, or send the resume, and we can reach out to you when it comes mm -hmm. up. And then do you have any opportunity opening that are not software engineering roles? Uh, yeah, we have some on our website. Again, I don't know them at the top of my head because Kamala and I focus both on software engineering and tech roles, and we have a lot of um, roles to keep up with. Um, but we do hire non-software engineering roles for sure, like more on the business side or um, marketing. Or Yeah. We have one more minute left. Is recent new grad eligible for software engineering intern role? Well, yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah, definitely. Um, should be uh, sh should be okay. Please do uh, send your resume across and we can take a look. Mm -hmm. If that's something you're open to, then we're open to it as well. Perfect. Any other last minute questions? Otherwise, again, feel free to connect with both of us on LinkedIn. Um, we do receive a lot of connections and a lot of messages. So apologies in advance if we don't get to kind of respond back with a very personalized message, but um, send your application through Green Hat or sorry, through the AT or our careers page and we're <laughs> going to take a look at, at um, your resume. Yes, internal sure. that we use. So Let me definitely uh, thank you for stopping by and asking the mm -hmm. questions and uh, feel free to continue. Thank you. Perfect. Do we just exit? Yes, I think.